Hey everyone! Want to create an awesome 3D character from scratch, like this armored rhino you see right here? In this video I'll show you how to turn a simple idea into a pro level 3D model using AI, and even better, how to put it up for sale on sites. Let's head over to the Leonardo website and select image creation. Here we need to enter a prompt, basically a description of the character we want to generate. If you're unsure what to write, you can ask ChatGPT for ideas. For example, through a prompt for a humanoid Reno character wearing armor without any weapons, facing forward with a simple background. Artificial intelligence prepares a prompt for you. We give this prompt to Leonardo to see what result it produces. Make sure to enable the concept art option here as our goal is to create a new design. Also select the character sheet option so that the character we want to design is created correctly. After the settings I click generate. Wait a moment for Leonardo to create four different designs. You can choose any of these designs that you think is better. For example, this one has very good details. But I will generate a few more. These all look great. I think the first one is pretty solid. Once you find your desired design, you can improve and download it. Now that we have our design, the next step is enhancing the image quality. The details might not be super sharp, so we'll use Crea AI to upscale and refine it. From the bottom of the screen, select the Enhancer tool and upload the image you downloaded from Leonardo. You can set the image quality to AK and enable the upscaling option. This tool automatically improves the detail of the image. If you haven't registered on the site yet, you can sign up with Gmail or email. Because I had already signed up, I didn't need to re-enter. After your image has been optimized, you can see how much the quality of the image hat has improved, such as the details of the armor. Now you can download the final image. Now that we have a high quality image, it's time to convert into a 3D model. For this, we'll use Hyper 3D. This tool can take a 2D image and automatically generate a 3D model from it. After signing up, click the plus button, upload your enhanced image, and hit generate. It'll take a few moments to process. Great, our 3D model is ready, it looks good, but it's not an exact match to the reference image. Check for any bugs or issues. If there's a problem, re-upload the character image and generate again. You can test it without using credits. If you need to make changes, like adding an object or tweaking the shape, you can type your instructions and use the Redo option. Once you're happy with the model, you can check the polygon count and adjust the settings. Keep in mind that higher polygon counts require a pro subscription. There's also another tool called Meshi which I mentioned in a previous video, you can find the link above. I click on image to 3D, here you can upload your photo. Once your photo is uploaded, click on generate. Your 3D model is easily created from this photo, it takes a few minutes. Well, the model is ready here, not bad, you should spend more time to get a better output. The next step is texture extraction which unfortunately does not give us the exact same as the uploaded photo in the free version. In the material generation section, we can adjust its intensity, meaning it can extract based on the, the reference and adhere to our reference 
while performing its task. If we activate Face Restore, it preserves the facial details. I will wait for its textures to be created as well. The Meshi website has generated four 3D models for us, but they don't exactly match the reference image, which could cause issues with the texture. For now, I'll pick one. I think this one looks better, so I'll select it, confirm, and wait for our 3D model to be created. Okay, the Hyper 3D website has completed the 3D model. Not bad but you can pay more attention to detail and use the Redo section to fix any potential bugs, which is a really important tool. I confirm so I can download the final model in common formats like OBJ or FBX. I usually choose the OBJ format because it is compatible with most 3D software. If you also want to download materials and shaders separately, select the relevant options. For 4K material output, and some of the advanced features I mentioned earlier, you must have an active Pro account. As for Meshi, the texture it made isn't perfect, but it's not a problem. You can make a new texture in the texture section or fix it manually. I've introduced both sites so you can use them and see which one you like. Now that we have our 3D model and textures ready, the next step is rigging the model. For this, we'll use a free software called Acurig, made by Relusion. This tool automatically rigs your model and prepares it for use in other 3D programs like Unreal Engine or Blender. To start rigging, first download and install Acurig. Open the program and log in with your email or Gmail account. Then, import the 3D model you downloaded, it should be in OBJ or FBX format. Click on the Rig Body option and you'll see the bone connection points appear on the model. If the connection points aren't placed correctly, you can move them manually. Turn on the Symmetry option so changes on one side automatically apply to the other. Adjust each point to match the guide image you see on the right. Make sure the points are placed accurately and check from different angles to ensure they're inside the body. Once the body connection points are set, we move on to rigging the fingers. Set the number of fingers and the program will automatically rig them too. But it's not always perfect, so follow the guide on the right to adjust them. There's a shape pointing upward that shows the finger angle. It's correct now, but if it's off, click it and rotate it until it's pointing straight up. Looks good. If any point needs tweaking, adjust it and always double check from different angles. When you're done, you can click mirror right to left. Just be careful. Right means the character's right, not your right. In the next step you'll see it's all fixed automatically, so you don't need to, to change anything. We just set up one side and it copies to the other. Easy. Now let's move to the final step and wrap it up. Once the rigging is done, you can test different movements on the model, like walking, running or clenching fists. If the hands or legs don't move right, you can tweak the settings. When you're happy with it, export the rigged model in your preferred format, like FBX or OBJ. 
This model is now ready for 3D projects like game development or animation. After rigging and exporting, you can bring the 3D model into software like Unreal Engine, Blender or Maya for your projects. This method helps you turn a simple image into a professional 3D model using AI tools. You can even sell it on sites like ArtStation or CG Trader. If you want to sell your model on international sites, upload it with good descriptions and images. Platforms like CG Trader and Sketchfab let you preview the model in 3D so buyers can check its quality and details before purchasing. For better sales, include several rendered images from different angles and add full details like polygon count, file format and software compatibility in the description. With AI tools like Leonardo AI Hyper 3D and AccuRig, you can simplify a complex process like 3D character creation and do it fast. If you found this tutorial helpful, please subscribe to the channel, like the video and share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.